I know what you're thinking, but I'm actually not the Ethiopian supermodel. <laughs> My name is Brian Elliott, and I graduated from this school, the Kennedy School, and the school across the river, Harvard Business School, just about nine months ago. It's an honor to be back and to be asked the question, why do I serve? Why do I serve? I left college years ago with a strong desire to have an impact in parts of the world where change was needed the most. So I set out on that path. And on the way, I became fascinated with the fact that there are corporations that are more powerful than nations. And I wanted to learn what they knew so that I could use those tools and someday apply them to help benefit the world's poorest. Why do I serve? On that path, I ended up here. And I left this place ready and willing and primed to serve in international development. Until a quiet voice inside of me spoke up and asked me to listen carefully to what lied underneath layers and layers of passion. And it asked me to understand and listen to my purpose. Why do I serve? Folks, I'm gay. I've known I was gay for my entire life and I was out when I was 16. But I never truly understood the extent to which LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender Americans were legally disenfranchised in this country. What made me realize this? I fell in love. And although that love has passed, it allowed me to see in very concrete ways what it would mean to have a family what it would mean to be a provider and a protector of children and to provide and protect a family unit. And I feared that I wouldn't be able to do that well because I'm not an equal citizen. Why do I serve? As a gay person in this country, I can be legally fired in 29 states, and that is perfectly legal. I can be legally evicted from my home in over 30 states. I can be barred from the military if I so much as answer a question, who'd you go to the movies with, honestly? And I have no access, no matter what state I'm in, to over 1,100 federal rights and privileges that married couples get automatically. Health care, social security, disability, custody, power of attorney. I was afraid that without these things, that I wouldn't be able to be a full citizen. Why do I serve? So I left here eight months ago primed and ready to focus on international development. But while my heart was in faraway places, every time a law would pass here that, substanti that, that substantially and negatively affected my life, it broke my heart. And so I became more and more baffled by the notion why I had to wait. At the current rate of change, I will be an equal citizen in the next 15 to 20 years. The arc of history bends towards justice, sure as day. So if then, then why not now? Why do I serve? Well, that quiet voice, it gave me an idea on August 22nd of last year. And that idea was a way to engage millions of straight people to help make equality come sooner. And the idea grew legs and started running faster than I ever thought was possible. And I was faced with a choice. Do I take the skills and the knowledge and privilege that I had learned, and do I use it in international development to focus on one of the world's most intractable and severe and complex problems, global poverty? Or do I shepherd this idea and help catalyze an issue that will be solved in our lifetime with the passage of a few laws? And so I took a huge leap of faith, and I decided that waiting for equality became less and less of an option. Why do I serve? I so badly want to be an equal citizen of this country. I want to be able to tell gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender teenagers that the weight of the inequities that they see and feel will soon be lifted, and that they will be free to follow their dreams and their desires and their passions with the same rights and privileges as everyone else. I want to be able to look into my children's eyes and tell them 
that before you were born, our family was not equal. But now, today, we are. I want to be able to tell my grandchildren that the story and the, the chapter they read in history about the defining equal rights struggle of our generation is one that is far, far behind us. I want us all to be equal citizens of this country, and I want to ask you to join me in helping make that dream come true quickly. So today, that is why I serve. <laughs>